<laughs> Hi guys, uh, here we are and I'm going to take a stab at showing you the way that I uh, learned to draw hands. Hands are really not hard unless you make it hard for yourself. It's, it's pretty easy if you just look at some of the construction of the hands. I want to remind you one thing about drawing that I've learned over the years. And this is really important. See it in your head or see it somewhere in real life, but you've got to see the subject you're going to draw before you pick up the pencil and draw. And then when you do draw, sketch lightly, and then you detail as the third attempt at it. So that's the way to do it. I've got a bunch of drawings here that I have printed off so that uh, we can just take a look at drawings and see what we can do. So let's go to the drawing board, okay? Here we go. <clears throat> well, to start with, I've collected some pictures of hands. These are ones that are actually drawn hands, but they're based on hands that have been photographed. When I learned to draw hands, you know what I really did? I would, I would put my own hand right here in the, and I would close the fist like this. And then what I do is I would draw what I see right here. And that's the way I usually came out. And then I could come with different positions and I could do this and I could do this. There's a lot of things you could do and draw your left hand. Or if you're left-handed, you draw your right hand. But you know, it's kind of crippling. So what I decided a long time ago is to get photographs of hands. Photographs, because you're not going to get a friend or someone to hold still with their hands for too long. So you can photograph that, particularly with all your cell phones and the little uh, cameras that you have in your phones. Photograph the hands kind of up close and see what they are. Now, I noticed something that is kind of common to all of these hands, and that is the palm of the hand. So let me look at this right here. Do you see this? This is basically just a square. And then it's decorated with all the stuff that is the anatomy of it. This is another square right here, but it's seen from a side rear view. Look at it here, it's more obvious. See the square? Okay, so the palm is what everything hangs on. The fingers are connected to the palm. So I try to remember that. The other thing I want to tell you, and I think this is really important, is hands are there to express the emotions of the heart. So if a hand is just there, for example, this is a hand that I don't know what the, what the person is feeling. It's anatomically maybe correct. And I think it's really nice the way they've made the index and the thumb meet here. But at the same time, it doesn't express much. Now the hands we're gonna talk about today really have to do with hands that are expressive and it's going to be in the hands of the drawing style of animation. Here's another artist who has gone through and blocked out the hands, showing you exactly, look at the blocks. One, two, three. One, two, three. Here it is again. One, two, three. So each of the fingers has three little three moments on it, which means there's two joints. And then the joint here is three. Three joints. But in the finger itself, those two. So they've gone through and done that and, and tried to accent all the places where the joint in the finger comes. Um, maybe yes, maybe no. But let me, let me say the thing that I really appreciate, I'm going to get another drawing here that I think is important, is starting from life. Now this one right here, I love this hand. There are different looks to a male position of the hand and a female. I can tell pretty much right here that um, this, is a, this is kind of a male position. It looks stronger. This right here with a broken wrist and this coming down here is a very Michelangelo look. And Michelangelo, when he drew all of his figures in the Sistine Chapel and elsewhere where he drew, he was copying something that he saw in his head and it makes a very, very good look. Look at this curve and then out onto this finger. So that, and it's, why not all the fingers out there? It wouldn't look as good. But the one finger pointing and this relaxed and the others just relaxed is a very, very beautiful look. So beautiful that when ballet in its history began to develop, what they did is they said, we like the look of the hands that Michelangelo created. So therefore, let's use those hands and let's see if we can't get our ballerinas and our male people to do that kind of thing. Here's another drawing of hands. Look at the, look at the palm. Do you see the square again? The square. Look at the palm, there's the square again. It's behind here, it's hidden, but it's there. <clears throat> Look at this palm, there's the square. So you kind of start thinking of the palm, and then once you get the, the palm, here it is, this one's really obvious. See that? That square. 
So if you can get the palm, usually things can happen. So I'm going to just do what I think you guys were probably going to do, and I'm going to put a piece of paper down here, and I'm going to try and draw, let's say, let's say this hand right here. That's pretty easy. So what I would do, if I were just drawing this hand, and maybe it's not an animation, I would I get the arm to happen first. I know where that is. I can see over here, this moving up into the first joint, second joint, and then down to the finger. So I'm going to get that to happen. I'm going to go up. I probably need a pencil that has a lead in it. So I'm going to go up right there. I'm going to go to that joint. Then I'm going to go down. Now, I know what that is. Now see the distance between there and there? I'm going to, I'm going to draw that. I know the thumb's coming down here. It looks like I've got some of, the, some of the fingers showing up above the thumb. So there's something going on right up there. And then it looks like where the thumb ends, right there, look at this. So everything is size relationships. There's one, two, three, and right here. Then look at the distance between there and there. Almost right in the center, but not quite, is this line right there. Off that line, I can see that finger is coming through there. It's folded through there. And I can see that this one is folded through here like that. This is higher. But I'm simplifying this whole thing. Here's that little mark. Here is the creases that are going to happen there. And here is the thumb. Here's the thumb joint. And here's the second thumb joint. And then you've got a hand. So fairly easily, you can come up with something that looks like this. But it's studying the, the, the relationships of spaces. What, how far is it from here to here in relation from here to here. So this is longer there than this. So if you learn to do that, it's pretty easy. Now I can take this hand and I can caricature it a little bit. Let me try and go, go there, because this is where it gets into animation. So if I say I have an arm, which I'm going to make skinnier, and I'm going to make this hand do this. I'm going to find that. I'm going to All right, now that, that to me is also simplified and it's an animation hand. I have say this right here doesn't have a dimension unless I put the fingernail on it, then I can see the nail like that. Then I know what it's doing. This right here, I want to see this, this thing, this hand pinched in a way so that there's little creases in here. And I can do that when I pull that in. I'm going to simplify because animation is simplified design. So you see that, 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 and this is there. This is a simplification of this. These lines are stronger. But in animation, that's so easy to do. That's so easy. Or right, let's take a little harder one. I want to take, um, let's say, this hand right here, which is open. This can be really repetitive. So you won't know what to do. So let's see if we can draw that hand. I think I'll make fun. I'm going to draw larger because I think it'll be, um, it'll be a little easier to read it. So we're going to start with the square of the palm. So let's start right here, the square of this palm. Now some people's palms aren't square. Some are long and skinny, but I'm going to start right there. And I'm going to say that, see this right here? I can see, oh, about this far in right there is this point right here, which is going to come up into a thumb. Now, do you see that curve right there and this curve right here? I'm trying to get that. I know with that thumb, and I know there's a joint on the thumb right there. I know there's another joint here, and it's going down right here and into the arm. All right. How far is it from there to there? Do you see... I'm going to draw, I'm going to connect these tips of the fingers so you can see that. And the tallest finger is the second one right here. So I'm going to make sure that I get that. And it looks like right here we have some of the, this right here is what you call the mound of Venus, this little area right here. This right here is the lunar mound. And you can learn all that. That's easy to learn. I and mean, that's something you can just easily pick up. 
But I know we're going to have some fingers here, and I know we're going to do this. That's way too far. But that curve that I'm drawing there, I'm going to draw that. I'm going to draw the first finger where that's going to be, and it's going to be something like this then, right? You're going to get that one. You're going to get this one. This is the longest one. This is the next one. And this is the little finger. Now already, I can detail this so it's either realistic or it's not, but this is the rough sketch. Because I believe you're going rough before you actually start nailing anything down to detail. Oh, and I've moved everything I have. All right, now, notice here. Do you see that the knuckle, the middle knuckle right there? Those are wider. So what it looks like is right in here is the middle knuckle. And what, what will that get me? When I draw this finger, I'm going to widen right here. Widen, I'm widen right there to get that. Then I'm going to go out to where there's the... And we're drawing the palm side of the hand. But notice the knuckle area is wider. Do you see that? And I'm going to do the same thing here. There it is there. There it is there. Come down here. And this is coming out. Longer, and I know how long to make this because I drew that little curve. There's the knuckle, here's the knuckle. There we go, and then the little finger. Not much of a knuckle on the little finger, but there it is. All right, now already what I can tell is the fingers have a little more realistic look because they're not just straight little tubes anymore. I'm showing the knuckles just a little bit. Um, this right here, I can see a little curve and then a curve again right there. So what I'm doing now is I'm being able to find what this hand looks like just by going through this exercise. All right. So then you can draw the hand like that. Now, in animation, what you're going to do is you're going to simplify this again. So what I would do in animation is I would draw, I'm going to draw a little smaller, but I would draw the palm of the hand. Okay, there's a thumb up there. Two, three, four. I've already done this once as kind of realistic, so doing it again is easy. There's the knuckle, 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 and there we are. I've muchly simplified it now. It's easy to draw. This one has a little more fun because what I elected to do is push this little finger further in that direction, which puts some creases in the skin right here. Now, what, what do these lines represent here? This is the mound of Venus. This is the lunar mound, they call it. That's the one where people are... The more this is big and puffy, the more they're crazy they are. Crazy they are. Okay, so that gives you a really easy way to go there. Let's take another hand that's from the other side. Um, I particularly like this hand right here. I'm going to show this one. Because look at all these little things that you can get in here. And even as an animated hand, you can simplify that, and it's really good. That is obviously not a man's hand. That's a woman's hand. And it looks like a woman's hand. So, let's just um, draw the square. All right, there's the palm. I can see this. So I'm going to just get some, something in here that I can read on. I'm looking now at this. That's the headline, it looks like. And here is, let's do this. Where this headline ends, it looks like right in here, this is going up here. And look at the shape from there to there. I want to get that shape. All right. Right up in here, I'm looking at, this is like a life drawing, guys. Now look at this, it's almost like if you drew a line there and you drew a line here, it would come to a point somewhere out there. All right, so I'm gonna try and do that here. I'm gonna take this, look at the distance between there and there, and mine is huge, so I don't want that. 
I want something more like this line here. Looks like it's just a, just a nice gentle curve, doesn't it? So I'm gonna take my eraser and get rid of that because it's gonna it's gonna cause me to run a run a mark and not do this properly. So what I want to do now is get the shape of this. So I'm gonna draw this sort of like it's a mitten. It meets out there somewhere. Notice the finger that's dominant. All these are stacked, but this one out, this little finger is dominant, and it starts right there in that pinch of skin. This right here, these great little marks you can put in. But anyway, here's the pinch of skin. Let's go up here, and where you end this, that's going to be that judgment that you have to make. Here's another one up here. Look at the distance between there and there. Then this one right here is about the same when it comes down right there. And this one right here goes up to right there. Okay, so kind of have the same thing. Now, this is really easy to now just sort of have fun with it because what I've just done is sketched it lightly. And by the way, that's the key to drawing, guys. That's the key to it, is sketching really lightly and then detailing it. So I'm going to do this. I can think there's a, there's a little crease there. I got a crease here. I got a crease here. So I want to just mainly, and I'm not picking up too much of this, but I know they're there. I know that that center knuckle thing, and I'm in the palm of the hand, is there. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to let the little finger just be really fun to look at. All right. Now you say, well, that's a simplification, but you know what some of the wonderful things I see? Look at this broad right here between there and there. Oh, this is all huge, and it's a distortion, really, which I have not captured. So if I do this, and I come down here, I'm not capturing the distortion. I'm trying to just draw the thing the way um, I think it should anatomically be formed. Now, if I wanted to do this like, like just say an animated hand, I would probably do something like this. I would, I would give myself the square. I'd say, here's the thumb, and I'm simplifying what I'm gonna do. There's the hand, like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this, this a little skinnier. What we're doing here is that. Here's, the, here's that mark where all the lines are. The fingers are going to be really fun, actually. There. Now it's a simplification, and it looks a little more relaxed. Notice that this feels very mechanical. It's because I'm just doing all the things that the logical brain would tell you to do, which is, you know, drawing all the lines and the spaces, making sure all the ratios are correct. But this, I didn't do that. I already had in my mind what I was trying to draw. So drawing it became more like just what can I put together in lines that will make it fun to look at. So that was the exercise. Okay, here's the crease of the hand. Here's the, here's the mound. Part of this is being able, being able to look at your drawing and get a feel for it and make it interesting. Now here, right here, is the knuckle on the thumb, but I don't want to draw that too much. Now from that, so this is the first one I went to, second one I went to is there, the third one I'm going to go to is going to get even more fun, because look at this. So, and this can only happen, by the way, this really, really cartoon-like hand, which you've seen a hundred times. This is that white glove Mickey Mouse hand. And you can do that, but the only way you can do it is first understand this, then go to a simplification of this, then simplify it again. There was a great artist that I remember studying quite a bit when uh, I was in high school, and his name was Matisse. 
The Matisse would start out with a very, very realistic drawing of a flower. Very realistic. By the way, Picasso does this too. And he would copy this, all this stuff exactly, and here was the stem to the flower. And then what he would do, he would go back in and suddenly this thing turned into a design. But it was based on the same thing. But it became a design. This became the bulb. So this, that was realistic, turned into this. And it's just a, it's just another version of this, only simplified in the shapes become very fun to look at. Anyway, um, I have to tell you that drawing really is just a lot of practice. It's like learning to play a musical instrument. You learn to do it. And online, I got a lot of these pictures online. I didn't go out and photograph them myself, so I know you have access to them too. And when two hands meet and they shake, you know, what's going on here? Learn to draw from nature. And then from nature, what you can do is you can turn around and simplify it once again, like Matisse, the artist or the painter did. You simplify, like Picasso did. You simplify that which you see in real life. And if it's based on your concept or your understanding of the real live hand, you will have no problem drawing hands. They're very, very easy to do. Just make sure that the hands you draw are expressing a feeling. See, and each of these has a feeling. For example, this one right here is, you mean this coin? This one in my hand? This one right here is, well, maybe, but if I stuck right here, a little needle. Oh, look, I found the needle. See, that's really kind of fun. This one means, um, I've explained this to you a hundred times. Surely you get it. There's no tension in the hand. It's just a relaxed hand. This is one we're holding the key and putting in the door. This is a determined hand. So try and assign emotion to every one of the drawings that you make, whether it's hands or feet or eyes or bodies, and then I think you'll be successful at it. But key law is start from real life. Make real life your model, and you won't be able to go wrong, and be patient with yourself. Okay, guys, thank you.